Whenever I sit down to tell one of the numberless adventures which compose the life of Arsène Lupin, I feel a genuine embarrassment, because it is quite clear to me that even the least important of these adventures is known to every one of my readers. As a matter of fact, there is not a move on the part of our national thief, as he had been happily called, but has been described all over the country, not an exploit but has been studied from every point of view, not an action but has been commented upon with an abundance of detail, generally reserved for stories of heroic deeds. Who, for instance, does not know that strange case of the blonde lady, with the curious episodes which were reported under flaring headlines as Number 514, Series 23, The Murder in the Avenue Henri Martin, and The Blue Diamond. What an excitement there was about the intervention of Holmlock Shears, the famous English detective. What an effervescence surrounded the varying fortunes that marked the struggle between those two great artists. And what a din along the boulevard on the day when the newsboy shouted, Arrest of Arsène Lupin! My excuse is that I can supply something new. I can furnish the key to the puzzle. There's always a certain mystery about these adventures. I can dispel it. I reprint articles that have been read over and over again. I copy out old interviews. But all these things I rearrange and classify and put to the exact test of truth. My collaborator in this work is Arsène Lupin himself, whose kindness to me is inexhaustible. I am also under an occasional obligation to the unspeakable Wilson, the friend and confidant of Homelock Shears. Inscreva-se no canal e ative o sino de notificações para receber mais conteúdo e elevar o seu nível de inglês.